Email validation in Python built-in versus library. We start by importing the built-in parse adder function from the email.utils library. Then, we define a function called isValidEmail, where we pass the email we want to check. Inside this function, we return a statement that checks if the email string contains an at symbol in what is identified as the email address. The parse adder solution is lightweight but basic. It simply checks for the presence of an at symbol and ensures there is content in the email part. I prepared these two examples to perform a brief test. When we run this, we see that the first one is a valid email, while the second one is not. Now, let's compare a third-party library. For this, we use the validate email address library, which we need to import and install using the pip install validate email address command. We then use the same function, passing the email as input. In the return statement, we use the validate email function from the validate email address library to validate the provided email. Between these two methods, this is the suggested one for production use because it implements all the rules from RFC 5322, the email standard. In contrast, simpler methods like parse adder or regular expressions might miss certain edge cases. When we run this, we see the same result. The first email is valid, while the second one is not. Would you like to see how it's done with regx?